The overall goal of this procedure is to identify abnormalities in neuronal and neuromuscular signaling in the C. elegans model organism following chemical exposure or genetic manipulation. This is accomplished by first designing and etching a microchannel pattern into a silicon wafer. During the second step, the silicon mold is used to cast one or more microchannels from PDMS, then accessory components are attached to the PDMS mold. Next, the behavior of the worms as they are stimulated to swim through the microchannel is recorded using a microscope mounted camera. Ultimately, electromicrofluidics is used to determine the changes in the nematode's neuronal and muscular systems due to chemical or genetic manipulation with locomotion as the readout. So the main advantage of this technique over the existing techniques, especially the plate-based behavioral assays, is that with this technique, the direction of locomotion of the worm can be tightly controlled, allowing for precise quantification of the locomotory behaviors such as body bent frequency, rotation time, and swimming speed. The implications of this technique extend toward the therapy of neurodegenerative disorders such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's because it can be used to screen for chemical and genetic factors with the neuroprotective properties. We first had the idea for this technique when we realized that there is lack of method for analyzing the method movement behavior in a quantitative manner. Movement is voluntary and random and it's hard to characterize. So we wanted to establish an easy method that everyone can learn. To make the master mold, 